with you and your students today. How are you doing today? And, and what inspired you to make this career change to middle school reading? I'm doing great today, especially seeing all of my friends here. And it was a really hard decision for me to leave Mixter. But as a young person, I loved reading and I loved teaching reading. So when I saw that there was a position open at the middle school, I decided I'm gonna go for it and see how this works out. So here I am, and so far I am really enjoying it. That's nice. Uh, what, what is your favorite thing about being a teacher and about working at the middle school? The students, first, first of all. I really enjoy working with the students more than anything. And being at the middle school, I love this age because it's sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. They're getting ready for high school. And I think back to when I was in sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, all of these ideas came to me, like, who will I be when I grow up? What do I want to do? And it's at this age where you start to decide who you are. So it's a really good age to work with to help students realize what they enjoy. in order to get this job? Oh, thanks for asking that. Originally, yeah, I did have to read four books and they were wonderful. We read The Hunger Games, we read Seed Folks, we also read um, called A Soldier's Heart and um, another book, oh, I can't remember at the moment, but I can tell you this, my first job at him was 16 years old working at John F. Kennedy Junior Library on Van Bourne Road in Dearborn Heights. And I worked at this library for six years until I was 22. So I read a lot of books and that was my inspiration to come over to the middle school and continue that enjoyment okay. I have with the students. The next question is, do you experience meltdowns with students here at the middle school? Well, definitely everyone has their good days and their bad days, just like everybody. So sometimes there's meltdowns, but what I try to do is be positive, be patient, and let them express themselves. No yelling. No yelling. No. Yeah. I mean, sometimes yelling happens. It's and a way to express themselves. But what I've noticed is the more I get to know my students and the more they get to know me, the less meltdowns I see. Okay. Do you know that it does not tickle? No, meltdowns <laughs> don't tickle. Everybody wants to be happy. Nobody wants to be sad. The last question is, have you heard of the little man in the elephant? No. What's the little man in the elephant, Adam? I will tell you about it. It is a, if you start to feel frustrated, you have to tame the elephant, like taking a deep breath and uh, count to 10. Wow, thank you so much. You're amazing. That is really good. Okay, this is Adam signing off. Have a good day. Thank you.